Good morning guys, welcome to this video. So I have a fun day planned today. Hopefully I get everything done that I need to. As you know, I have been trying to move a bunch of stuff out of my room and into the shed for a really long time now. And I haven't been able to move it all because the shed hasn't been done. And basically the issue is just that I can't move furniture into it. Um, because when they deliver the built-in bookshelf, it will be so huge that we would have to move most of the furniture out. So everything is done, um, but we just can't move a lot of furniture in. That means that I have a lot of stuff in my room again because it's waiting to go to the shed. So before the problem was that I had a lot of stuff in my room that I wanted to move out to the shed. And now the problem is that I've bought so many things for the shed that now it's all crowding my room again. So what I'm doing is I'll include some footage. Last night I packed up um, all of the books that were on my bookshelf and I'm going to be taking those and just putting them probably at my grandma's for now um, just because once the bookshelf gets here then I'll be able to unpack all of that stuff. But it was just taking up unnecessary room in my bedroom right now because I'm not reading any of those. So I wanted to use that shelf just for some extra storage. So I know that my room looks like a disaster and I'll show you what we have going on in a second. Last night I just got that shelf moved over into a corner um, and I have my piece of art that I made. I'm storing that in my room right now and I just got all of the books packed into boxes. So today I'm going to try and get those out of here and I finally brought this chair into my room. So this chair was in my apartment and it matches the couch that is going in the shed but the shed isn't big enough to have this big chair in it. I mean it's a massive chair. So I thought it would be a great spot for me to sit by the window and read in the morning because I don't have like a really comfy chair in my bedroom. So today the goal is to get enough stuff moved out of this bedroom that I can move the chair exactly where I want it. Um, I'm going to try and move the dresser behind me by myself because I just have to rearrange a few things in my room. And so I've pretty much um, boxed up everything that I can and now I'm going to try and move everything around and make it look cute for the time being. But I'm going to time lapse me trying to get some work done in here and trying to get everything rearranged and I'll show you what we start with and then what we end up with. Okay, so this is what we've got going on first. It's just lots of boxes and it's completely blocking my way. So ignore my bed right now. That is just a quilt that I have on it for extra blankets. But this is what we have over here. So we have all my DVDs and books that were on this shelf and I've replaced it with baskets that have socks and things like that in it. Then we have camera and microphone equipment and stuff. This is my jewelry stand that was over in that corner, but I had to move some stuff out of that corner because that's where this chair is going. So the goal is to get everything possible moved from that corner. You see there's some more storage baskets and clothes that need to come over here so that I can put the chair in that corner. So hopefully it fits and you'll see me just basically rearranging a lot of stuff. But the priority is getting everything out of that corner. And then there's my smoothie <laughs> and all of my books and everything on my nightstand. So the priority is just to get everything out of that corner so that the chair can go there. And these are just clothes that I need to put in the closet, but it's kind of hard to get in the closet right now. <laughs> so I will put them away just as soon as I can get to it. It's sunny at the most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way And maybe you should stay instead of turning around Okay, got it moved in the corner. She loves it. <laughs> I promise you she'll be laying in that sunspot in like five minutes. There's her water bowl. <laughs> so it fits in the corner. Looks cute with my plant and everything. But now I have to figure out what to do here. So I originally wanted that little table to be sitting right here. So I think I'm gonna try and move the dresser over a little bit. But the plan eventually is that you can see I just shoved everything to the other side of the room for now but the dresser the white one is going to go over here and this mirror is going to go above it so we have to take the mirror down 
and remount it a little bit higher so that the dresser can go underneath it. And eventually I'm getting rid of that bookshelf over there. That's just extra storage, but I'm getting rid of it eventually and the jewelry cabinet will be over there. So that's the plan for everything eventually, but right now I think I'm going to try and move this little table to over here and then probably put the plant like right there. So let's see. Okay, this is the progress here. I tried to cover up those cords the best that I could, but that's what we've got so far. This obviously I don't want to be so close to the door, but it has to be for right now. And now I'm going to put the plant here and get some of this other stuff moved out of here. It's time to get it out. Okay, for now, that's the only place that the chair will fit, um, which is fine because it's just temporary. It's going out to the office soon. Um, but I put the plant right there and I put the rug right here. So I'm about to put this stool over on that rug, which was the plan all along was to have the stool in front of the chair to be a really cute lounge area. So that's what I'm going to do now. The sun is setting down soon. So cute. I already know I'm going to have to move that pillow because she wants to jump up there and lay in the sun. <laughs> Time to get the bed situation straightened out. Okay, this is what it's looking like now. So I fixed the bed and then there's Cutie looking out the window. Love the way this corner turned out and the stool and everything. So for right now, this is what my little chair corner looks like. I love that it's in the sun and I can just sit here, have quiet time or just chill out. Then we have the TV right there. And then unfortunately that chair is just gonna have to sit there for a little while, but that's fine. I left my lamp down there. I might put it up on the jewelry stand. Got my smoothie there. Um, and this is just the corner where everything remains stored. So I don't have, a really safe place for the microphone and camera stuff right now so i just like to keep it right there so that i can always make sure that it's safe and everything's good that's still extra blankets and sheets and stuff and then more pajamas and sweatpants and i have storage all on the rack behind that artwork and then this i just wanted to take a second and tell you about so this print was created in 1995 when it was the panthers inaugural season and so it's actually a copy of a print that my grandpa had um and it was signed by all of the founding members of the Panthers. Um, so he has that one in his office and this is a copy of that one. So the one he has, there's only a few hundred copies of. Um, so this one is just a copy of it and I got it from him and I just love it so much. It's so special to me. And so I just always have kept it in the plastic and one day it's gonna be hung in a really awesome place. I don't know where yet, but it stays in my room because I never wanna like put it in an attic or risk it getting damaged in any way. So that is just sitting in my room for right now. It's more like I'm saving it to have it in like a cool media room or something one day. So we'll see, but this is definitely one of my prized possessions. I love it so much. I told you guys it would be like five minutes before she was there. Here's the funny part about this DIY dresser. The dresser is right there and I have to figure out how to get to it. Let's do this. See the stars when you're all in your head. You can find beauty in the night too. But it's harder to see when you're stuck in a dream. So let you keep on going. I know that you can be open, hoping that you'll be okay. Don't stay. Looking out the window and how late. Okay, it's actually in worse shape than I thought on the top. So I got a sponge and I'm going to try and scrape some of the stuff off. But if I can't 
get all of it off. It might require me to sand the whole top of it, but I'm gonna see if I can get everything off right now. Do you plan on going nowhere Okay, I'm gonna start with putting the knobs on before I do any painting, just because I don't want to have wet paint and then be moving the drawers around. So I'm gonna start by putting all of the gold knobs on and these match the knob that I have on the vanity in the bathroom. So you know the bathroom is gold and black, so this is gonna be perfect. All the things you don't know There's so many reasons you should care Don't stay looking out the window And how late do you plan on going nowhere Afraid of all the things you don't know There's so many reasons you should Okay, it already looks so much better with the gold knobs instead of silver, but you can see that a lot of work needs to be done as far as paint. So I can just touch up these ones on the front here. But when I scrubbed the top with a sponge, this happened. So you can see the streakiness. I don't know what they painted this with before, but it was really not great paint. So I am gonna have to sand that top down. I'll plug the sander in and see if it's coming off easily. And then we'll see if I can get it done tonight. But I think I can touch up the rest of the spots for sure. Okay, sanded the top down. Doesn't look super great, but it's definitely smooth. So now I'm gonna paint a coat on the top and try to paint over these little nicks all over it. So let's see how it goes. Oh, it's making me cry. Don't know what I feel. I don't understand why. I needed you, but I didn't know why. Now you leave you go. Okay, I did a coat on the top and now I just need to fix all of the little nicks on it on the front. So I'm gonna work on that now. This is what it's looking like right now. You can see the paint streaks, but I'm gonna let it dry while I work out and then we'll come and check it out after. I think it already looks so much better. It just doesn't look as messed up as it was before. And I think this was actually the exact color match. So perfect, it turned out good. I really like it. It looks better than it did before and it's just going in a closet anyway. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll check and see if the paint dries in just a little bit. Okay, my phone died. I cannot believe how bad the quality is on this iPad, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like and close out the video. So the top still isn't quite dry, but I think it's gonna end up looking really good. So really happy with my little dresser transformation today. Note to self, iPads are horrible, horrible at filming. Like this is the worst quality ever. Anyway, I'm closing out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little dresser redo and the bedroom rearranging. I'm always working on something. So I'm glad that my space inside feels a little bit more calm and that I was able to get 
some of the clutter out of there, but just really need that shed to be done so that I can get the rest of the things out into the shed. So my phone died during my workout, so I actually have to go inside and finish my workout really quick, but I just wanted to close out the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can click the button right below or the button right here, and don't forget to like and comment. I appreciate you guys so much, and I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. It's sunny at most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way And maybe you should stay instead